May he be praised. (laughs) (laughs) I'll praise the almighty God Turtle. Already we've written a better video game than Sonic Forces. No. I mean, that's not hard. Their plot is as wide as it is shallow. Welcome back to the Bad Game Cast. This is Jake. This is Jason. And I'm here too. That's right. She's a glutton for punishment. This and this is the worst yearly tradition in the history of traditions. For tradition. 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 Yep, that's right. It's the uh, yearly self conflag or self conflagration. Words is hard. Mm-hmm. This time it was Sonic Forces. Yeah, if you don't know the tradition, it's New Year, New Sonic, so... (laughs) Jason, explain why this is a tradition. Uh, I believe I mentioned it before, but basically someone, after the Sonic 06 episode, started suggesting a bunch of Sonic games to us, and that is absolutely unacceptable. Oh god, oh god. Sonic 06 was one of the worst things we have ever played, and it traumatized me for life. So, I get that. Uh, me and Jake made an agreement that we were only ever going to play one Sonic game a year. That they could suggest all, as many as they wanted because we're just we're gonna slowly work our way through them. Because honestly, it'll probably keep us going for quite a while. Yes, I can think of at least two more that we still have to play. I can guaranteed. think of three. Yeah. <laughs> How many Sonic Boom games were there? Three. What I want to say, <laughs> <laughs> at least two. You take that back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. We yeah, we haven't played Rise of Lyric yet. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Or Sonic and the Black Knight. Mm-hmm. Or oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So uh, this time we stumbled into Sonic Forces, which you know, after 06 and after Unleashed. Unleashed oh God, Werehog Sonic. Mm. <laughs> I hated this one slightly less. That's true. Because it was shorter. That's also true. Yeah, it does have that going for it. That's that's what it has going for it. It took less of my life away. I did learn after Sonic Unleashed that I should immediately go to howlongtobeat.com and like figure out how much of my life this is going to suck away from me. I mean, like a peek behind the curtain, that's what we do looking at games and then try and, uh, as we're coming up with the schedule, meter out a shorter game so then we have time for a longer game. That's smart. So you don't always have uh, three parters back to back to back to back. Yeah, it's like we kind of actually planned this. I don't want to give people the illusion that we're actually like, man, we schedule things and we're so on top of it because we're not. No. But we try, folks. I mean, see those kind of. Patreon episodes, right? <laughs> <laughs> the point here is Sonic Forces, like Time to Beat, uh, was like an average of four hours and then six hours for if you did extras and then like 20 some hours if you did completion and we'll talk about what completion means when we get into the episode because it doesn't mean much. I there's I can't imagine that it would take you 20 hours to I can. go through. Really? Oh yeah. There is so much just nonsense tucked in this game. You gotta S rank every level. Ugh. Alright, well, let's get this out the way. Uh... Sonic Forces released November 2017, developed by Hitler, actually Satan, and Sonic Team, published by Sega. Other games that came out in 2017, we covered in Mass Effect, Andromeda, Road Rage, and Destiny 2. I think I'd rather play all of those games. Yeah. Road Rage is a... Uh... I want no part of that, although I think I put about as much time into Road Rage as I did Sonic Forces. Road Rage is the one where I remember just boosting through buildings, so that was kind of funny. <laughs> so that, you know... Uh, is better than what Sonic has going on. Anyway, uh, into Sonic. Here we go. Sonic is dead. Hooray! Holy shit, Sonic is dead. Uh, God, how does this even, like... This feels like Halloween Resurrection, I think, (laughs) where uh, they kill Jamie Lee Curtis out the gate, and that's the only reason I went to the fucking theater to watch that movie. (laughs) Sonic's dead. Turn it off. We're fucking done. We can all celebrate now. Robotnik starts in his lab. Yep. He's got a bunch of... Uh, Saiyan healing tubes full of people. Yep. He has some weird uh, chaos emerald like looking things. They're not quite, they got weird like stripes in them. And they're not like the traditional like gem cut 
shape. They're like little stars. Almost. Yeah. So he powers up some dude. And then what the hell is Sonic doing that they run into each other? Sonic is just running through Green Hill Zone after the opening cinematic of Robotnik. Like, I'm going to get Sonic now. It just cuts to Sonic Smash. Just we're running through Green Hill Zone. Gameplay go. Oh, right. Yeah, you get through regular Green Hill Zone and it you just do that. Yep. It's it's stupid in the like. 3D Sonic running level. Right. So for your mind's eye, uh, Sonic Forces is a largely 3D Sonic game. Occasionally has 2D platforming levels. It's a 3D platformer. You run through the level. You attack enemies. You get to the goal at the end. Yeah, that's it. At least there's no open world sections here. That's true. Thank goodness. But each level is incredibly short. I mean, like Green Hill Zone is like two minutes, maybe. Yes. Yes. So you, you plow through that and then... Sonic comes up on Tails. Mm -hmm. Because Tails is like... Tails is just like hanging out with random citizens in like the town square. And Robotnik is there with his robots. And he's menacing Tails and his friends. And on the plus side, they aren't weird humanoid creatures. And by humanoid creatures, I mean humans. I am totally a human. (laughs) Well said. (laughs) Yes, everyone here is a human. Human. All right, but like, they all have weird persona mask faces and like, yeah, no defined features from the neck down. Like everyone's the same sort of slim Gumby model. Yes. With occasional color variations like Sonic stomach, I think. Yeah, it is a weird kind of like the rapid production of models, which then uh, you get to create a character is also kind of falls into this where no matter what you pick, you honestly don't look that different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You kind of look the same. And once you start equipping items, then we'll get to that. But Sonic jumps in. Sonic says, jumps in. I'm going to protect you from robots. Yeah. I think he beats up some robots and then Robotnik's like, ah, but what about this? And then, uh, we're going to call his name, even though you don't learn it till later, is Infinite. Yes. Yep. But first, he like calls in like Shadow and Chaos and Metal Sonic, and you're like, wait, Shadow? Yeah. What are you doing here? And he's just got like this dead-eyed look. I mean, they all have dead-eyed look because it's a Sonic game, but more so? Yeah, he's not like actual <laughs> Shadow. Yeah. He's weird clone powered by he's weird... obviously a clone. Yeah. And then Infinite shows up and beats the hell out of Sonic. Which is hilarious because, like, you know, Infinite just beats the crap out of Sonic in this cutscene. And then, like, the next thing you see is Sonic was defeated. Robotnik took over the world. And you just get a bit of whiplash from that. Yeah, what the fuck kind of hard cut is that? Like, there's no other world government on... Wait, it's Mobius, right? And I don't know how the fuck Mobius works, but how does it go from uh, Sonic was keeping him to check to fucking Eggman now controls everything? So Sonic, as fast as he is, I guess, can only ever be in one place at fucking one time. So how did Robotnik not already control fucking everything? You got me. (laughs) I mean, Sonic is literally the only thing uh, keeping the world from the brink of destruction. Apparently, yeah. I mean, except for fucking Shadow and Tits the Bat working for questionable government. The president. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the president and goddamn fuck Knuckles doing whatever the shit it is Knuckles does. Treasure hunting. Thievery, that's right. <laughs> and the assorted Sonic crew, which I it's pulled from the comics, right? Like some of these characters, they were probably in games at some point. I don't know. No, the comic characters are completely different. Are they? Because like, um, I don't know nothing of the comics. The, I remember reading some of the comics and there was like... Oh, it's going to bother me now. We've got the internet at your fingertips. I While do. you think of that. Yep. Uh, yeah, I some of these characters, which here we go. This is my favorite part. Silver's here, which means this game is canonical with Sonic 06. Oh, yeah. Since that's his like really first and almost only appearance. Yeah, no, that was his debut. Yeah. No fucking blaze, though. What a goddamn disappointment. Well, it's- She's in another dimension. Yeah, no, I, I'm i aware that she was frozen in time and sent to another dimension in the most hardcore of moves in all of video games. Fucking fight me. But that all got retconned, so it never happened. It's true. 
But that like I don't know why Silver's there because Silver's still from the future. It's now the future. The future is now, <laughs> old man. I don't like. <laughs> we realize that the only reason Silver was in Sonic 06 in the past was because he is from the future where the world ends. Right. Yeah, I got nothing. He can control time. No, that's Shadow's thing. Yeah, so can Silver. That was his, like, he uses the Chaos Emeralds to portal through time. I thought it was just, oh, right, he did fucking do that. Oh, my God. So where the fuck is Blaze? I don't know, also in the future? But Silver couldn't be fucked to come back and bring Blaze with him. No fire cat for you. No. So, yeah, Sonic is defeated. Robotnik takes over the world. We get that out of two sentences of white text on a black screen. We immediately cut to the Resistance, who have all these people that we just talked about, like Silver and Knuckles and Amy and your good friend Vector and Charmy the Bee and Espio the Chameleon. Who the fuck are these people? Okay, uh, that's what I was going to say. The Gator I recognize. Vector? Yeah. Yeah, uh, DJ Gator and Espio are like in their own Sonic spinoff game or like they're in one and you can play as them. Sure. But the fucking B, man? Like, no I idea what that's from. That's what it, like, that's from the comics, right? Like, I don't, no, okay. I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't want to look, right? Because, like, it just makes me mad. So, yeah, you get these characters who I, I don't think are fond Sonic characters. And then, yeah, uh, Grizzled War Veteran Knuckles walks in. and Yes. So, they all have actual voices in this, which I think is really a disservice to Sonic characters. They should never speak. <laughs> but Knuckles is this real, like, I can't even do it properly. Manly man. He is here to fight, and we've been fighting on the front lines. And, like, yeah. grizzled war veteran Knuckles. Yeah, you can hear the battle scars in his voice. It's so fucking good. Like, you just want him to have, like, a fucking eye patch and, like, missing Honestly, half Honestly, if he face. was missing an eye and just had this, like, <laughs> massive scar, that would have been so much better. But nope. I want him to have an eye patch that constantly changes sides on different. Honestly, that would also be better. Just something. Is that, no, it's just all the characters are the same. They look the same. They don't look any different. It's true. It's true. We know things are bad because they say things are bad until your new guy shows up. Yes, because we're all talking about how we need to resist and fight the Robotnik. But Knuckles like saved this one person from being wiped out, which... Kind of implies that Robot Robotnik Eggman is just going around wholesale slaughtering people. Well, yeah, he's got Egg Killer base. Of the course. Egg Star? What are we going with here? I mean, Star Wars doesn't have ideas, so neither does Sonic <laughs> Team. <laughs> egg Killer base. It's a new decade. <laughs> you can't hear me just shaking my head into this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. like, you know. Knuckles says, I, have, I rescued this person. And then we go to the character creation scene because Sonic Forces is the game that lets you create your own persona and play alongside the Sonic characters. That's the whole gimmick. That is the gimmick. Now, the last time we made personas... I was would, much it, better than this. Honestly, I, would, I genuinely enjoy, enjoyed that persona maker way more than this one. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll give it to you. On that one, yes, there is a ton more option there. Yeah, and it's more interesting, I guess. I mean, Jake, I'm not saying I like the game more. Nope, I like the persona creator more. I was the sun. Yeah, no, I I remember <laughs> the fucking bright sun mask, nothing but void, and then fleshy human genitalia. <laughs> God, sun's got a fuck. Yeah, I couldn't be pitch black in this game, and it was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you jump into the character creator, and you get to choose what animal you're going to be, and what they have, color you are. What do you think? A dozen, 20 maybe options of animal, except so many of no, them. No, it's are, not that many. It was like six. They're so close like to being not different. You could be a hedgehog. You could be a dog. You could be a cat. You could be a bird. You could be a rabbit. Wolf. A rabbit. And that's like pretty much it. Because that was a wolf. Which is basically the same as dog. Yep. <laughs> and it's like they're they're small variations, but they're not actually uniquely different. And then you pick it and you can go down and pick each one and it like changes your head 
Yeah, and the, the body is the same. But the body never changes. It's a uh, head shape, and then depending on the animal, doesn't it add a tail? Yeah. But yeah, Probably. the body shape doesn't change. Your body just is always the same. The body is just this very slim, almost like rubber hose animation, like kind of body, like very lanky, kind of looks like it should be rubber hose animated, but it's done in just, just normal 3D animation. So it's... Boring. Every time I saw him, it was just hard Gumby Blockman vibes, just shape, humanish shape, limbs, yep. torso, go. And then you have... Oh, a good number of colors. And I say a good number because you have like three different shades of each color. Yes. You can be regular green, you can be <laughs> emerald green, or you could be uh, like this soft pastel green, which is absolutely what I picked. You have to be green. I was black. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> black green. But you weren't actually black because the darkest black in the game is like gray. Yep bullshit quote unquote black with, i was a uh, bird i was a rabbit purple eyes because you can change the eye shape uh mouth kind of uh i want to say there's something else but honestly maybe there's not i don't think so like you can change the eye shape and color right and then you uh play um uh, pretty doll dress up later once you start unlocking clothing oh yes. yeah which is immediately because it vomits items at you we'll get to that Apparently, each animal has um, different abilities. Did you not know that? What? <laughs> what? The the animals had different abilities. The bird has a double jump. Like, I want to say the cat like didn't lose all its rings when it got hit. They, they, they all have different abilities. I mean, they all have a double jump. And then you only lose like 20 rings when you get hit. No. On... No. I think that was because you were a dog or a wolf or whatever. I mean, it was the same for the rabbit. Look this shit up. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I will only... stop this episode. I will turn this episode around and drive it into a ditch because I kind of want to know like what your gameplay experience was compared to mine because I chose the worst because a bird had the extra jump and um, it never helped. Okay, so theoretically, IGN here says that animal abilities. The dog restarts with some rings after a knockout. The wolf draws items towards you. The rabbit extends invincibility when hit. The bear blows away enemies when performing a wire attack. The cat holds on to some rings after taking damage. The bird enables use of a double jump. And the hedgehog drops ri dropped rings remain longer after taking damage. Yeah, so neither of you knew that was a thing. I would never no have idea. known that. Yeah. All right. Why would I? The game didn't tell me. It's true. And, and honestly, the game experience doesn't seem to change much. No. Depending on what you choose. So, you know, it's mostly irrelevant, but it's an option. Yeah. So after it was finished, I made another character, a rabbit, just to make him as stupid looking as possible. Uh, so I could test out the different weapons and shit, which we can get to. I noticed zero difference in like the item pull from the wolf as opposed to the rabbit. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> and, like, I only said the thing, like, because I know uh, Sonic and Shadow both have super shitty double jumps. Where, like, they get one jump, and then you can do, like, this weird sort of half ass meh jump after that. Yep. Um, and then both of them, once you get hit, if you have 100 rings, it only drops to 80. It doesn't drop all the way. I mean, that's definitely a thing. Okay. And I can't say that with my created character, I was paying that close of attention, because I was just trying to plow through it so i didn't have to play sonic anymore what difficulty were you playing on whatever normal was okay i think there was like normal and easy or was there normal and hard i don't remember if there were two or three there were two difficulties i think there was probably normal and hard then okay and i played on hard and i definitely lost all my rings every time i got hit it sucked <laughs> yeah that sounds awful i mean that sounds more like a traditional sonic game than because I thought it was super weird you'd get hit, you wouldn't lose all your rings. Like, fucking, uh, yeah. no penalty. Woo! Okay, that explains so much. Yeah, I don't try to challenge myself with these games because they're garbage and I hate them. Mm -hmm. I probably could have shaved off another 30 minutes to an hour if I uh, <clears throat> knew that was an option. So, once again, this is another Sonic game we play where we have different experiences. Yep, yep. <laughs> we all played on different platforms again, I think. I played on the X-Bone. 
I, I, played, I think we both played on PC. Yeah. Uh, okay. I okay. was going to pick it up on Switch, uh, but it was on sale on Steam. Ah. And I, um, I'm not going to pay more for a physical copy when I could just get this shit for like five bucks, whatever it was. I get that. So let's keep on powering through this plot then because we make our character and we are introduced to the Sonic gang. Now you're one of the gang. You're one of the gang. And then you go out and do something. Murder some robots. Infiltrate the chemical factory to get plans. Wait, no. Uh, you go somewhere to find, I think it is the chemical zone. You're trying to get to the, the lab or computer or something. You're trying to find. figure out where they're keeping Sonic. Yep. Yeah, no, it's immediately just like, oh yeah, Sonic's alive. He's just being held captive. We had this conversation before of what, if they're going for a darker tone, why didn't Robotnik just say like, I don't know, kill Sonic? He should have. I don't understand Robotnik, period. Eggman just wanted to fuck him. We can't let him die. <laughs> Gross. Eggman's the, or Sonic's the only one that truly understands Eggman. <laughs> the Eggman. <laughs> See, he's just alive, and so you find plans to figure out where he's being kept. Surprise, he's being kept on Egg Killer Base, which I genuinely don't remember what it's called. No, I just have Space Prison. Yeah, it... I think it is called, like, the Death Egg. It... I think I th- it is. I think it's the Death Egg. Because it's the Death Star. Because they don't have ideas. Well, no. I mean, Sonic Unleashed started with a fucking Star Wars cutscene. I got that. Yeah. Oh, with a fuck, giant space battle. Yeah. God fucking damn it. Well, anyway. Which should re- we should take a step back real quick and realize that Sonic Unleashed, giant space battle. Eggman has a fleet of spaceships. And he has the Death Egg because he can build Death Stars. Why does he even care about anything? Man should just be out conquering the frickin' solar system. Galaxy. (laughs) He can leave Earth. Can anyone else leave Earth? No! I maintain the same thing I said in Sonic 06. Where the fuck is he getting all these goddamn resources to build all this shit? Because he's got a literal fucking army of robots, plus all the ships, plus his fucking goddamn Death Star, and what in the actual shit? No, you're absolutely right. Why the fuck does he care? Why doesn't he just... Fuck off to wherever he wants to go. Because he mad. Yeah. He really, really mad. Because he can't get him some blue hedgehog anywhere else. And Aww. gosh, he needs it. <laughs> You're not wrong. So Sonic is alive and we have to go rescue him. You go and rescue him. No. <laughs> well, like you show up to break him out. But by the time you get there, Sonic has already broken himself out. Which makes you wonder what took six months to fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's like this which before that even happens, you get all you get fat Sonic. Yes, because Tails has apparently lost his mind. He's not with the resistance. Everybody's like shaking their head and looking into the middle distance thinking, Ah, Tails. He just he just, just his mind broke after Sonic left. And he's just like hanging out doing vague science things because that's all Tails does, vague science things. They don't have to explain it because it doesn't matter. That's true. Does does he actually do science things to bring Fat Sonic into the world? I think no, he just no. gets attacked. I think yes. he, he literally is just doing weird science things and then like robots show up and he's like, I'm going to lose. And then Fat Sonic shoots out of a portal <laughs> and kills the robots. And I assume that Fat Sonic is only here because they previously made Sonic Generations, which had 3D Sonic and Fat Sonic, and was generally critically acclaimed as compared to the other Sonic games. Critically acclaimed being like getting scores in the 70s and 80s as opposed to the 50s and 60s. Or the 20s where it belongs. Well, yes. (laughs) So yeah, Fat Sonic is classic Sonic and is... (laughs) hilariously rendered he is a dough ball of sonic his head is a big orb on top of another orb with little arms and legs it's so goofy looking i don't even know i could not laugh but laugh every time he showed up on screen and he can't talk the rest of them talk yep that sonic doesn't have a voice hold on do you know that he can't talk or he just chooses not to I mean, maybe he's just thinking, mm, these lesser creatures, no. Well, wouldn't they have to pay uh, Urkel to do the voice for him? Otherwise, it'd just be weird, right? What? I assume he only understands Japanese. Also makes sense. The cartoon, 
You know, like the old one, not the like oh, fucking gritty reboots yeah. they've done since, was yeah. voiced by uh, the same actor that did Steve Urkel, whose yep. fucking name I can't think of. And that's no good. No. Continuing on. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to ride right over that. Uh. Yep. So the levels and the gameplay progress as follows. You just have like a menu of just just a menu over the overworld. The world. You go it's... to hot spots and you play as one of three characters. You either play as your creative character, you play as Fat Sonic in 2D levels only, or classic so- or new Sonic. New Sonic. Sonic. New Sonic. We got new Sonic and classic Sonic. 3D Sonic. And uh, yeah, you just like switch between those. Like you don't even spend the whole time playing as your persona. You don't really play as your character for like half of the game at least. Correct. Like here's your character, but don't worry, you're not important. Sonic's the only thing that's important. You know, like I want to say between the 30 levels that you play, it's split up like 10 10 and 10 it's but, pretty close like, i don't think it is because i don't think you play 10 stages as your character mm-hmm. that sounds right so i mean you just like after you get sonic back i don't know you go and you're trying to like destroy the source of his power beat some stuff up and then you fight infinite and then you beat him up and then you fight another boss and you beat them up. like there, there's nothing in between these things Mm-hmm. Just interrupt him. That's the only way you're gonna get to say anything. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's go. Fine. Whatever. What do you want to say? Because none of this matters. It's it's true. Nothing. Nothing in this matters. You. What, what is the goal of this game? Is to defeat the horrible army that has conquered the world. And there's like different fronts, and they're like fucking like armies in the background. There's radio chatter all the time. Oh man, like. Yeah, but then you solve this by running fast through a level and not fighting anyone. Right? You don't actually, like, do anything. You're like, I achieved the end of this level. I raced the fastest. Therefore, your army has to retreat. Hold on. You sometimes take out robots. And even if you're intentionally avoiding all of them, sometimes you have to hit the robots to get to a higher platform. That's true. Yeah. Occasionally, you are forced to do things. Mm Mm-hmm. So I don't know, like you, you're just doing regular Sonic stuff. And then when you stop doing that, they give you a you've conquered the Eastern Front. And yeah. like the this meter of like who controls the world shifts where it started at Eggman at 99 percent and the Sonic team barely holding on to their one percent. And it slowly slides back to Sonic team's favor as you <laughs> conquer different fronts of this all out war with the Eggman by running fast. Which makes you wonder, like, if all anyone has to do is put up the least amount of resistance, Eggman wouldn't have taken over everything. Because, In like, four seconds? You don't fucking do anything. Yeah, you race to the end of the stage, and then, yeah, you cleared the sector, woo! You occasionally defeat robots, and with, like, your creative character, you have a weapon. Because you can't be like Sonic and, like, just spin dash things. You have, like, either a little flamethrower or an electric whip or something like that. And the combat is incredibly easy and completely pointless because all the enemies just take one hit and die. Yep. Every once in a while in the level, you'll get dropped into, like, a small circular arena. There will be robots around you, only one type of enemy, with one attack and one animation. And you just spin in a circle, hold your attack button. Doesn't matter if it's an electro whip. Doesn't matter if it's a flamethrower. Doesn't matter if it's just, like, a force push weapon it was weird i didn't like that weapon so i stuck with the flamethrower and then they all die in about two seconds and you run fast again the combat was trivial yeah it it is uh, the only times i ever died during this game were during platforming sections yes when especially when the game was like ah you're one of the your character or fast sonic not fat sonic and we're gonna make you do actual like platforming Mm -hmm. and then you're just like i'm dead Jump, overshot again, dead. On the plus side, they did take away the life system, so there were no, like, hard game overs. You just, like, tried, failed, went back. Tried, failed, went back. And, you know, that's a good um, mode of gameplay for games like Super Meat Boy, Celeste, which are, like, twitchy, difficult, skill-based platformers. The deaths in this Sonic game felt mostly just because you didn't know what was coming next. 
oh no i never felt like you know in celeste you know you're learning and getting better and you you've got a really difficult jump to make and in sonic i never felt like i was really getting a hold of sonic i felt like i was just leaping into the abyss every time and hoping it worked out better i didn't feel like i had better grasp of the controls at any point no no god i hope i don't randomly die this time i mean as i was streaming this i hit one spot where i died probably 10 times in a row where i just go to jump fuck it up damn go to jump fuck it up damn go to jump (laughs) fuck it up (sighs) did either of you ever get strange deaths that happen during like scene transitions like you're running towards the edge of a cliff and you're supposed to just like keep running into like a spring that like makes a little animation you like jump across springs and suddenly you're in a different area and then like me being a logical person sees a pit and jumps and then you just jump and die there were several times during this game where i just like died during scene transitions and i was just like what was i supposed to do and then i did it again and like didn't touch buttons and just the game hold just forward played for me yes just hold forward <laughs> I, so i need you to understand right now that of like the two to three minutes that most of these levels are at least one minute of every level is the game playing for you yes where you're either bouncing off a bunch of springs and you can't control your character or you're spinning through some pipes and you can't control your character or you're doing weird swings because your creative character has a grappling hook and you can't control your character a third to a half of most of these levels you're not actually playing that that's that's about right (laughs) is that what people like about the newer sonic games i mean of the people that actually like those turds that's what people like about sonic games in general is just like the sense of speed and they realize that they can't imbue the games with a sense of speed and have good gameplay so they just have the gameplay themelves itself well like okay uh, Sonic 06. So this this right. is better than 06, where when you're bouncing off of things, it's quick time events. Because mm. the game doesn't play itself. Instead, you have to sit there and just mash square. And if you don't mash square properly, you just fall and die. Is it always just square? I, I don't remember the button. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was always the same button. Okay. Yes. But okay. Like, at least then uh, there was some interaction. And then as you're bouncing around stuff, you're in some big ass fuck world and like you can see shit going on in the background instead of here this little like little segmented bit where for no reason whatsoever you get to just fucking hang out and there's nothing to like do besides wait wait for the game to give you my control so you can run 10 seconds to the end of the stage and just wonder why didn't they just why didn't you just go to the end like why why even fuck around here so you can fuck up on that last jump and then sit through the whole thing again i I really don't know why the game does doesn't play itself like it should, there shouldn't be game here. You should dress up your fun little character and then watch some cut scenes of things going fast. That's that, it. That, yes, that would just really cut out the middleman because I think it took me around five to six hours to quote unquote beat this game, even though like I spent probably a good hour of that just like fucking off doing other stuff with the game up. So it probably only took me about four hours to beat the game. And I counted up and there were about a hundred minutes worth of gameplay based on the times that I got at the end of the level because it logs like your best time. And I only played through the levels once. So I just counted up the time and there was about a hundred minutes of gameplay. hundred minutes of gameplay. And that is including obviously all this time that the game plays for you. Yes. All right. So there's probably an hour, 60 minutes of actual gameplay yep. in this whole game. Oh, God. Yep. So. Yeah. Good times. Let's let's power through, I guess, the rest of this story so we can come back to this this gameplay stuff. Because why not? You essentially spend uh, most of your time doing, like, petty terrorism to, like, blow up weapons factories. Hold on. You're the heroes. It's not terrorism. Right. It's It's patriotism. warfare. You're the scrappy (laughs) resistance. That's true. It's totally not terrorism. I, I'm just thinking about what a Sonic visual novel looks like. And if you take out the hardcore fucking, which would naturally be in there, I would much rather do that. Oh, you're not. Because I'm over here just coding Sonic onto Star Wars. Yeah. Because you're the scrappy resistance fighting the first order. I mean, Eggman. Uh, yeah. Blowing up the egg killer base. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Cutting off supply lines. Committing yep. terrorism. Whoa, whoa, whoa patriotism 
It's literally just like a worse version of Star Wars. Isn't Star Wars a worse version of Star Wars? Yes, that's what the new ones are about. Oh. <laughs> JJ Abrams was a mistake. Haven't seen it. Have no dog in that fight. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. You go get Sonic. You go save Sonic. You go do terrorism. Tails and classic Sonic are off doing their own thing and like following around Eggman. They they don't even know that original Sonic is alive. Um, there's this hilarious little sequence where Eggman and Infinite are talking, doing some exposition about the Phantom Ruby, and uh, Tails and Classic Sonic are just like around a corner watching them. They're literally behind a rock. Yeah, like it's they they're squabbling because Infin- Eggman's like we should retreat, and Infinite's like let me kill them all, and Eggman's like no, we have to retreat. And Tails and Fat Sonic are literally just sitting behind a rock listening. And uh, Classic Sonic is just a fighter. And he just like pops out of his hiding spot and wordlessly assaults Eggman, which is kind of hilarious to me because Eggman looks down at him, like draws out the sigh and is like, I don't have time for this, and just floats off in his Eggmobile. And then Sonic just runs after him silently. And then you're in a boss fight. Yeah. And you beat was, up Eggman. It was and you just wonder. The most. What? Fun- Hilarious screen transition. <laughs> Why any of this? What? Because well, yeah, um, if you're going to play the classic Sonic levels, you have to have one at least where you it was... do an old school Eggman fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Since you're only a old school. No, I think you may have had two old school Eggman fights. But after you defeat him, he's like, well, you defeated me now, but I have a bigger plan that will defeat you all in three days. That was it. That was the main plot. I have a super weapon. Forgot about the super weapon until just now. I'm getting excited. Super weapon. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to take it from down. here because I was watching The Witcher <laughs> while playing this game. And oh. I can tell you all about, I don't know, Jaskier and his songs. And <laughs> I, I can't tell you a thing about this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the li- why why does he constantly tell him his fucking plans? You fuckers have three days. <laughs> Don't go to Secret Base Alpha and stop me. I think I think Eggman's just bored. I think this is just what he does for fun because he's so bored at being stuck in Mobius. This <laughs> this horrible world filled with hedgehog creatures. Yeah, I mean clearly at some point. He has acquired enough resources to not want for anything, right? Yeah. He has endless robot slaves. He can do whatever he wants. He conquers the world. He knows he can do it. But, like... Fairly fucking easily, too. That's apparently just boring. And he doesn't want to. So he's just playing along, I guess. That makes sense, because you can't just give it back. Like, they they have to take it. And he's like, um, three days. (laughs) Yeah. Go do it, please, God. <laughs> I just set up all these levels for you, and I need you to run them. I have robots putting out jump pads for you fuckers. <laughs> Day and goddamn night. Yeah. Get out there. <laughs> all of the tubes in my areas are sonic-sized. There's no other reason I have them. That's that tube just... doesn't even go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a happy coin getting to have their sonic-sized. Yup. How come Tails isn't flying fucking Sonic Classic around? Oh, because Tails is now useless. Yeah, Tails. But We've like... decided Tails, not a thing. Yep. Yep. Um, like, after you learn about the evil plans, him and Classic Sonic are like, we gotta meet up with everybody. I heard that real Sonic's live. And you go and get the band back together. You run through some completely incongruous levels as Classic Sonic. Because, like, they, they try to make them, like, the old classic Sonic levels uh, that are completely incongruous in terms of tone, in terms of we have this gritty work going th- happening, and we're going through a jungle casino. Oh my god, that level. What in God's name was that? It's just, like, flashing lights and the, it's like, uh, what is... Jason, it's a casino. Pinball. It's in pinball. The Clearly. <laughs> What's not to guess? It's just pinball flippers. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... The casino. Pinball. Yeah. Obviously. The pinball casinos. Classic Sonics from Japan. Pachinko. We got there. Pachinko doesn't have flippers, though. It does not. (laughs) (laughs) 
trying to save it. <laughs> so, but... like, it's just flashing <laughs> lights and weird, just total green, lush background and pinball flippers. And it is a weird level that connects to nothing. No, I don't they... know why it happens. It's because they needed another level. Because they needed to pad out the length of this yes. game. Despite the fact that it's not a long game to begin with. That's why they needed padding. You're there to get plans or some shit. You're there to get more unlockable costume pieces. Because okay. every level you beat, they throw costume pieces in your face. We'll get there. Give me like two more minutes for the plot. Go! Go! <laughs> you go to the capital. You're like, we're going to assault Eggman's base. He's like, I'm going to stop you. You're like, obviously, no. The end. <laughs> yeah, pretty fucking much. <laughs> and then you push back Robotnik uh, to his final base. And you're like, we're going we're gonna to beat you once and for all, Robotnik. We brought everybody here and we got an army and you all you got is clones. And then he's like, I'm going to summon the sun. He basically goes, I'm going to spirit bomb everybody. Or maybe more like Frieza's planet killer. Mm -hmm. See, I was going to say the uh, Legend of Zelda, the fucking moon. That's true, too. And everybody looks up and goes, fuck. <laughs> that was a nice moment where everybody looks up and just with their eyes does go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously you can run through another three minute level uh, in the Eggman base and destroy his power source. And then the sun is dispelled because reasons it's not important yeah the sun just fucks off back to where it belongs eggman yep. can control the sun but chooses not to and then you fight infinite and you defeat him and he just sort of fucks off and then you never see him again nope that, he's just i don't i don't know what that character was or was supposed to be yep yep well his power came from the uh, phantom ruby right which is yes. the weird vr fucking stupid ghosty clone shit he was doing yes and then once you beat that like he's just normal schlub that shadow kicked the shit out of like three weeks earlier mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yep and after you defeat him he fucks off robotnik eggman goes i'm gonna defeat you and we fight him one more time because he's got like a third power source for his evil death whatever and then you team up with classic sonic and new sonic and your hero and you just run fast at him the boss battles are literally just like running forwards at an enemy until you can collect enough boost to boost to the enemy, to attack the enemy. Then you fall back. You're continuing running. They throw attacks at you. You dodge the attacks. That's it. Those are the boss battles in this game. And then you defeat Eggman. And then you just like, you did it. You won the war. Everyone's happy. Credits roll. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. How many people do you think Eggman killed? So many. Millions? Billions? Yeah. And it, it, there's oh. no way it wasn't fucking genocide. I want to say millions. Because, like, you know, when you first meet your character, you're talking about, like, Eggman was blowing up a city and Knuckles saved you and no one else. Yeah, you're the only one that made it out of there. They specifically say you are the only survivor. Yeah. So he's just wantonly killing people. And by the end of the game, there's no real consequence for him. I mean, next game is still just going to be Eggman tries to take over the world and Sonic face fights him and to stop him. Well, like, literally no one can do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, that feels right. <laughs> you, are you doing all right over there? <laughs> no, no, we need to get... Not really. I'm slowly losing my mind. The greater lore and continuity of Sonic is really finally sinking in. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> You can't skip the credits. You gotta listen to their power back. Holy shit. You can't skip the fucking credits. I cut the fucking stream for 15 minutes of nonstop fucking credits. Oh my god. Why can you not? Like, that's fine. I know a lot of people worked really hard on... Uh, I don't want to say this game because I've played the final product and I wouldn't say that they worked hard on anything here. But in video games, people spend a lot of time in, like, movies and, like, they want don't want you to be able to skip the credits so you can really... You know, fucking everyone gets their name out there. They they worked on it. Good job. And that's what old tab is for. Uh, yeah, no, well. that's exactly what I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> you, you you bring up a good point of like I'm sure like a lot of these programmers and sound producers and everybody involved with the video game are talented individuals. It it really does feel like this game was a failure in direction because they're. they're I mean that that feels like Sonic in general. I don't even know. 
what they plan like what any time they don't have an idea it doesn't feel like it of it, what to do it felt like they wanted to go a grittier war direction and as you said earlier when we were talking um they just don't commit to it they like take a half measure and like sometimes there's no survivors left and genocide happening and other times you're going through a jungle casino but they also never show it so anytime there's something bad sure. it's off screen sure and so the whole tone of the game is still sonic for children first time fun time adventures yes but they're constantly talking about how the world is dying and eggman is murdering people mm -hmm. which is this huge tonal conflict between what you're actually presented it's just no, no, I, I I like the juxtaposition of oh my god, everything's on fire to uh, fun time chemical zone mm -hmm. <laughs> music, the doo -doo classic doo -doo 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 -doo. beat boops. And yeah. hey, you remember this? <laughs> you remember this from your youth? You like it because it's nostalgia. Yeah. Oh shit, Star Wars. Yeah, except the music was close, but it's slightly different. Like they're all variations. Yes, it on was it. worse. Yeah, I, I specifically mm -hmm. have just I noted that they tried to remake all these old you know, uh, themes and tunes uh, using like the new instrument set and it doesn't work. It just hard stop does not work. It sounds like a bad version of a 2D game. Toss you a coin to your witcher. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I don't, I don't have anything to talk about this part because <laughs> you don't listen to video games. I don't listen to video games. So uh, Dolly dress up time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're, your character is constantly assaulted by items. Every level, you probably get between five and ten <laughs> items. I want to say it's a weird way to put it, but they do fucking bombard you with shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so the first time I beat a level, I was confused. You got like five items. Because they were like, you unlocked this. And I was like, okay. And then I hit the next button, and it was like, you unlocked this. Okay, next. This, this, this. And I'm just like mashing the next button, just like, why won't it stop? <laughs> Yes, for every level you beat, you get five items. For every level you get an S rank in, you get five items. For every hidden objective, which sometimes is like jump or slide or use your weapon, those are like the level of objectives. You get five more items. It seems like the, de the dev team definitely put most of their time into, you know, making all these items and by God, mm. they're going to give them to you no it really i would bet that they spent more time on sonic the dress-up game than any other part of this yeah, game i don't doubt that but it's like uh here's a shirt design uh now we're going to barely change the pattern and put it in like 16 different colors and call it all different items oh yeah a lot of the items are not that different but sure. it's just it's so many things like i was kind of impressed at a point that they spent this much time making a weird dress-up game for characters that are not actually that different and for a game that sucks this hard that they went like, ah, we really need to flesh out how many different latex suits your character can wear. Oh God, the latex suits. Because that's what I wore. I went with the neon green latex <laughs> bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And yep. then just riot gear. I had a gas mask, goggles, elbow and knee pads... And like fighting gloves. I tried to make myself the Macho Man, Randy Savage. A noble effort. I just had fucking uh, gloves and then like spiked knee and elbow pads. And like the fucking texture on the gloves always weirded me out. Like it's too well defined for cartoon looking gloves. And Sonic is the same way. Like anytime it was a close up where you can see someone's hands, like you could see the fabric of the gloves. It is. No, it's weird. It looks wrong. It is too fucking realistic for goddamn Sonic. I didn't notice, but I didn't pay that much attention to anything this game had to offer me. I saw it once and then could never unsee it. Like, I get that. I, I'm time. sure, like, if I booted it back up, I would, like, I would be looking for it. Are you, like, the kind of person that's bothered by seeing the stitches in Mario's overalls? No. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. It's just something about that level of detail on cartoon-looking gloves that it just feels wrong. All right. I won't take that anger away with, from you. You can't. <laughs> but, like, and I agree with you to a point where, like, the amount of items 
impressed me at first until I realized yes I, I stopped getting new things I was just getting reskins of stuff that I had and never what I wanted like I just wanted the fucking gold like armor suit and I would get a piece like sick I yeah. got the fucking uh boots now where's the rest of it uh did you want the uh other color armor set I mean yes but I want the gold set so I look pimping as all hell well after you go through the game the first time then you can go through and replay all the levels Oh, but I did it once, so I'm done. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they uh, had, like, SOS missions, which is just, like, run through the levels again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they gave, like, every time you beat a level, not only did you get, like, five items, they unlocked the next level, and they also unlocked, like, two side mission weird nonsense things that I didn't bother to play because I'm not here for that. I played all the secret levels. The secret levels took about two minutes each. They were all, I think they were all 2D and they were all just like based around a single concept, like disappearing blocks or missiles. And then you got five more items at the end. Oh God, yeah, there's I didn't, so many more items. Yeah. I didn't clear all of those, but I attempted all of them once. Uh, the same, well, I can't say like, cause I did the shadow episodes mm -hmm. just before we were recording just to fucking do it. Also, because uh, it's been a while since I played this at this point, so like a little refresher on yeah, Sonic. Yeah, so what was the Shadow episode? Uh, did you do the sh Oh, really? Nope. Okay. So the Shadow episodes, it's three levels, I hesitate to say, <laughs> because they aren't fucking long, right? Even for this. One of them's just cutscene. Anyway, um, it takes place uh, a month before the events here, where you run into Infinite, and Shadow's like, uh... Eggman's doing some shit. Rouge is like, hey, uh, Eggman's got a base in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around of any strategic value. Do you want to go check that shit out? Because it's super weird. Shadow's like, yeah, it's fucking dumb. So he runs in there, ruins everything. Infinite shows up and is like, uh, I bet you don't remember Ian. Remember me. Shadow's like, yeah, why the fuck would I? And then we flash back in there to uh, another level where Shadow is in some other base and kicks the shit out of this dude. And then he's like, you're pathetic. I never want to see your face again. And then teleports away because fucking Big Dick Shadow does what he wants. And then he's like, ah, I'm so weak. Never again. I'll never be weak. And then he puts on that dopey ass mask that he wears. And she put his fucking gem on his chest. And then that's it. We get to see Infinite without his mask. No, you don't get to see his face. Oh, that would have been interesting. So Darth Vader never takes off his mask in this version. It's true. He does. You just don't get to see it. Yeah. I mean, it's like... Uh, so all this is Shadow's fault. You don't get to see him at the mask or without the mask and this weird, the top of his head. Like, you don't get to see him from the nose down. Like, you don't know what weird abomination shit his mouth looks like. How do you know he's got a jaw? You fucking don't. Mm. Dark Malak all up in this shit. Darth Malak? I said Dark Malak, didn't I? You mm -hmm. did. I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. Sonic is so fucking good. <laughs> It's such a frustrating game because there is a level of polish on this game that like during the first 30 minutes, I kind of thought had potential. The UI is slick. They got good, legitimately good voice actors. Oh, yeah. I mean, as much as I make fun of Grizzled War Veteran Knuckles, like they, the actual voice actors were there and were hamming it up as best they could until I turned off all the audio. That's fair. Matt Mercer is Espio the Chameleon. Yeah. Using his man voice, using his, like, McCree voice. Yeah, and it, it's not usually the voice acting that bothers me in Sonic. No, uh, no. And usually I think the music's good. This one I did not. I did not care for most of the music tracks because of the weird shift. They, they really also, when they didn't try to remake old classic themes, leaned into that super sweet punk pop rock. Like, there were multiple times you're just... The game's playing itself, and there's some super catchy running around the speed of sound, with guitar riffs and everything. <laughs> there's so many fucking tracks that have vocals in it for no goddamn reason. Yes. What the shit? And oh. I, it does feel more polished than some of the other Sonic games that we've played. No, the other Sonic games we've played, this is so much more polished than. Because freaking 06 was a bleed of nightmare. Yeah, it was. But this is also just brighter. Hmm. Like, like, I didn't run into, like, some of the, like, glitches and shit or intentionally killing myself at the end of a runway because it's funny. You know, it it mostly ran okay. Yeah. So this game, much better put together, but is 
so much shorter and just bad. Like, the level design is very poor. Yeah. I I honestly could not tell you level from level, despite some of the few background, like the casino level that sticks out because it's so weird. But when you're running through X base or Y base, I couldn't tell you the difference. Yep. I have two levels that stick out, and that is the casino level. And there's the circular level that you're like running up the base. And there's like a death laser chasing you. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Those are the only two things that like felt different. And those were probably the levels I enjoyed the most because they were different. The rest of it's just hold forward, sometimes jump, sometimes attack. Yeah, that's it. Hold forward. Let's see, I enjoyed Green Hill Zone. Uh, when you run through it as Sonic, the very first, like the first thing out the gate, and then that was it, and it was done, and I didn't want to do the rest of it. That's all I wanted out of it, which is more than I actually wanted because I didn't want to play this. That's fair. <laughs> Green Hill Zone <laughs> was was quote unquote fun because I don't know you you held the boost button and you just ran through like four hundred robots and killed them all. And yeah. There was- you were Sonic, and you were great, and you were cleaning up the Green Hill Zone and nostalgia, and then the game keeps happening. Yes, yes, precisely that. It look more robots, and you're like boost. <laughs> <laughs> look another boost section. Boost. Look, the game's playing itself. Boost. It is like how the the music uh gets like distorted when you hit boost. Does it? Yeah. I didn't notice that, but I'm sure it was lovely. No, more it's things stupid. about music. <laughs> It's just one of those little stupid touches. I, I like that. It's, yeah, it's yeah. dumb. Sure, 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 sure. Well, fucking recommendations, my man. <laughs> Let's fucking get this show on the road. No, I mean, so <laughs> at this point, and we're going to do another Sonic next year because God might not kill us this year. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I keep asking for it every year. <laughs> and, but no, you can live. So... <sighs> If you know Sonic, right? This is more bad Sonic. If you love Sonic, because I don't know why. I legitimately don't understand anyone's affinity for Sonic. But if you love Sonic, this is better than the other ones we played, I guess. Don't play those. Play this and hate this for... Why? Why do people (laughs) like this? But if you do, if you're one of these... Fuckers who gave it a 10 out of 10 on Metacritic. And you're like, this is the best installment of Sonic in years. You already know you like it. You don't need me to tell you that I hate this game. I hate this series and I hate these characters because you're still going to play it. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Same. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Yeah, no, no. I. <laughs> Jason ran some more. <laughs> I I I it's, kind of agree with you. Yeah. I I I have a theory that it's just people growing up. You know, you had the traditional console war of Nintendo versus Sega. Some people had Sega, so they didn't have Mario, and this is the only platformer they grew up with. And the original Sonics had some good ideas, had some good design, and they never evolved from that. They never could turn it into 3D successfully. And it's, as we said, it's like the Star War. It's just nostalgia candy for their brain. And maybe they're also a furry and need to make their fursona and hang out with Sonic and have Sonic tell them every time they meet up how cool they are and go. Couldn't see the hand motion I was making. Use your imagination. Yeah, if you took out the like Sonic levels and just made it a Sonic themed fursona and it was uh, like... Sonic comic visual novel, I, I would actually have enjoyed that more. I don't know if I'd have enjoyed it more, but I've respected it a hell lot more. That's true. And, like, this game is short, so when I pay five, ten bucks for it, I don't feel like I got my money out of it. Which, again, a game that I didn't want to play in the first place, but fucking New Year, New Sonic. Seriously, are, are we dependents for something? Why do we keep doing this? Anyway... I, I can't recommend it. Like, even to fucking Sonic fans, like you had said, if you're a fucking diehard Sonic fan and you're going to give it a 10 out of 10 even though you've never played it, I don't need to tell you, it sucks. If you're a Sonic fan, and for whatever reason, it's Eat been lead. a while since you've played a Sonic game, and, like, you got options between the multiple modern 3D Sonics, and you've already played Mania, go play Mania again. Don't play this game. 
I was going to say play this game instead of like Sonic Unleashed or Sonic and the Black Knight or Sonic Boom or Sonic Rise of Lyric, but you know, I can't recommend that. Is Infinite from Mania? No, no, Mania is just just Robotnik and like Robotnik robots. Yeah, I don't think Mania adds anything. I'm pretty sure it's all old stuff. It's half old stuff. Some half of it is new. They weave old levels into new ones. Well, I didn't mean like level wise. I mean more oh, character wise. That yes, they just yes. They rely yes. heavily on just all the established stuff and not any of this new quantum ruby gemeralds. Sure. All right. Well, fuck. What do we do now? Uh, now we would usually ask questions from listeners. Like me. Like her or like you. <gasps> but uh, we don't have any. We actually haven't. We've been out for a little while. So. We'll just sit here and stare into the void. And the void will stare back. Yeah, no, the void shaped like Sonic. And I don't want to fucking look at it anymore. <sighs> so I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you want to talk about real quick? <sighs> Anything? Anything on your mind? Give me a second. I don't know, because I've answered so many questions on this. I don't, like, remember half of them. All right, so are there, are there any uh, 2D or 3D platformers that you uh, actually like, as opposed to Sonic? No. Kind of. I, platformers have never, like, I... Platforming as part of a game is fine, typically, but I've never really... I can't think of too many pure platformers that I have played, and, like, they're... Some of the Mario games I quite enjoy, and that's probably the few standouts that I can think of. Uh, what's the, is it Mario World? The Star, Mario World. Star yes. World and the... Star World with the capes and yeah. the Yoshis. And Super the... Mario World, yeah, Super yeah. Nintendo. Fuck yeah. That's one of the very few... It's one of the best games of all time. That, like, I like I can think of. I really liked that game, but I can think of games that have platforming elements in them. I guess Celeste is a platformer. It is a pure platformer. So like it's amazing that, but it's few and far between. Uh, for me, I'm a little more generous, I guess. Like, you know, I got the nostalgia goggles. Like, you know, I enjoy the Crash games and the, the Sapphire games. And I played both the remakes when they came out. And I enjoyed them far more than Sonic, mostly because they're paced a lot slower. You can think about what you're seeing. I mean, I definitely enjoyed those playing growing up because we had them. And I'll say, you know, I, I probably wouldn't enjoy them nearly as much now, but that's probably true. There's probably enough nostalgia that might carry me through. But yeah, uh, it, no point in either of those. Can I think of that? I mean, there's a few that are like timed where you have to like go quickly and crash. There's some sections where you're running towards the camera and there's a boulder chasing you it's probably the worst part of the crash games yeah and that's exactly it is usually you can stop and like look at what's in front of you and decide what you're doing that's really the failing of sonic gotta go fast just doesn't work as a platforming mechanic they should try to make sonic into something else like a racing game or i mean if only they something <clears throat> to else. sonic racing i've done that before i Aren't they in, like, vehicles? Yeah. That's so dumb. Right? Like, or pinball? Th this whole thing of Sonic is you got to go fast and all these characters are super fast. And then you're like, ah, racing. Put them in go-karts. Checks out, yeah. Yeah. People fucking love car racers, man. <laughs> yeah, you could literally just make a kart racer, but take out the kart. Do what people did with Waluigi. Never include him in a game? Have you not seen the Waluigi mod? Oh, no. Nah. Where they replace his cart <laughs> with leg animations. Oh my god. Really? And, yeah, so it, it's Mario Kart, except when you play as Waluigi, you're just running. That's amazing, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, it's great. You just see Waluigi <laughs> sprinting <laughs> around corners. <laughs> I need this in my life. Yeah, I'm fucking so in on that. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, to answer my own question, uh, I'm with you. I'm not really big on platformers. Games like Celeste or, let's say, Super Meat Boy just make me want to rage. Nothing about that. Like, I really want to try to play Celeste. I know I'll hate it. I played the shit out of Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario 64, and uh, Odyssey. Odyssey's really fucking good. But platformers have never really big been my thing. Mm. Uh, I played Crash. I hated Spyro. Spyro is more of a collectathon 
than it is like a true platformer with like skill which is yeah. my issue with a lot of the platformers from around that time like banjo kazooie and i get that and like that and i'm not into it i would do other dumb shit like a cruise in usa <laughs> amazing i don't know about you guys but it's just screaming in my head cruising yeah no 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 my brain is just like static right now and like this is the feeling i had after the unleashed episode too like it's like a migraine of anger <laughs> are we just used to it yeah I think Listen, <laughs> no here's the thing i know that feeling but i don't even have that right now do you know why kingdom hearts 3 <laughs> You're already dead inside. It's just a wave of mind-melting nonsense that when I left here at 2 a.m. after recording for over five hours, I this is whatever. This is a walk in the park because I don't have to talk about Beef Xehanort again. <laughs> oh, no. Do you have any more questions? No. No. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get this reaction when we did Airport Simulator when we recorded it or played it. Oh, that's because that was just really boring. That was just boring and chill. Like yeah. this is making me think critically and just get angry. Yeah. Well, because you try to think about like what they're trying to do here, and you just hit a wall because in no world does it make sense. Like you can't. I'm trying to jump into the minds of someone who made this game, and I can't because I don't understand this game or why it exists. It may have been made by committee. It may have like been changing hands through different directors, different visions through the game, possibly. I'm willing to bet it's a uh, committee style, oh, where it's absolutely. a bunch of people sitting there, and they're just throwing out ideas, and then they try and shove them together, because it doesn't fucking matter. People are going to buy Sonic Sega games. was like, we need more money, make a new Sonic. Do that. And they're like, well, what do you want in it? And they're like, Sonic! And that's it. That's their direction. Make us more money with more Sonic. They're doing lines of coke. No one cares what's in it. Make a new one. So anyway, questions, thoughts, comments, concerns, go to... Where at? The Email. Bad Gamecast? The Bad Gamecast at gmail.com. Or tweet at The Bad Gamecast. That's me. Or tweet at Jake Prey. That's him. Hey. Uh, you can hit, throw the things on Reddit if you go to r slash The Bad Gamecast. Uh, or if you want to DM you slash the bad gamecast, I guess that would work too. If you want to see us live and in person, you hit up twitch.tv forward slash the bad gamecast Monday through Thursday, six till whenever we stop. It'll usually be two to four hours a night. Uh, now that we're on the new year, we should actually be streaming again since the holidays are uh, up and finished. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. I intend to update that soon. <laughs> See, last time I said it's kind of updated and I was a liar. And now I'm saying I'm intending to update it so that when I do, you're all pleasantly surprised. But then when I actually don't, because I completely forget about it, it's not on me. It's on me. So <laughs> it checks out. There's a Facebook page. Who knows? It may or may not happen. Then I guess the patron is the last thing, right? Mm hmm. Patreon dot com slash the thing in Madwab. I still don't know how you actually find us, but if you do, you can throw us dollars. Uh, as of now, the year in review has released, so you will know that the previous patron episodes that we were going to release are kind of uh, is in a scrap heap somewhere because they're really outdated. Like the way of life of magic, it moves too fast. Uh, we didn't edit them and they didn't get up, but. There's going to be some good game reviews that I am absolutely promising. Uh, we've got Iceborne. I might record something either by myself or with Jake as just yelling at Jake about how much I love Hollow Knight. Hmm. Yeah, because that's not my Monday through Friday. That has some strong platforming elements in it. It does. Again, Ooh. it has platforming elements, but it's not a platformer. Like, it, <laughs> the fighting is the main part of the game. The boss fights? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's patreon you can support us blah 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 we will actually have stuff this coming year sorry uh, everyone who has supported us and was really hoping to hear about why i like magic the gathering uh if you want to actually hear that i guess i could put it up unedited and you could crawl your way through a sea of muck i mean we could always re-record them and just go more 
uh, broad in general. And so instead of drilling down as specific on stuff that's just going to be outdated with the rotation. True. Or next set, I mean. Uh, but also rotation. <laughs> if you want to contact me, you can find me at Freya Faust on Twitter or visit my base on Phobos. Yep. All right. Well, help for the bad game cast. I've been Jake. Jay. Son. I am the sentient concept of shame. Good night, everybody! With the <laughs> this random turkey noises. Ugh. Yee. <laughs> That's gonna suck later. Yee. <laughs> yee. 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 Say yee or yeet. Yee. The fuck's a yeet? Y e e. And also, yeet is just throwing something out, usually a window. Wow, well, Luigi gonna win! He is gonna win. Look at that motherfucker. He's going fast. <laughs> He's going fast like Sonic. See, why can't you make a Sonic game like this? Yeah, that's basically what I want. I want Mario Kart with uh, Sonic. And not Sonic Racing, whatever that was. Yeah, it might be good or whatever. So look at that fucker go. Right? <laughs> <laughs>